A female prosecutor gave rise to Korea's own Me Too movement by throwing herself in the spotlight after coming forward with allegations of sexual harassment at workplace from nearly a decade ago. She sparked a public uproar and prompted the government to set up a countermeasure committee. Cha sang updates us on what could be the start of a wave of needed changes brought on by her decision to be silenced no more. The Justice Ministry has formed an internal committee to tackle sexual harassment within the ministry and its related organizations. The move comes after female public prosecutor Seo ji on Monday revealed details of her experience of alleged sexual harassment. Justice Minister Park Sang-gi at a press briefing pledged to prevent sexual misconduct against female workers at his ministry and affiliated offices. Park also vowed to protect Seo and others that speak out from any additional victimization. We will actively work to prevent prosecutors Seo from any secondary victimization. There can't be any more criticism, attacks or degrading comments against her. The minister said the new committee centers around experts, including the prosecution, to prevent and investigate any case of sexual abuse or harassment. He announced the president of Korean Women's Development Institute, Kwon In-suk, as the leader of the new committee. Minister Park also apologized for the ministry's lack of promptness in its original response to Seo's case, including his own response to an email from Seo. Public prosecutor Seo ji on Monday revealed her experience of sexual harassment eight years ago within her workplace. A special inquiry team headed by Chief Prosecutor Cho Ijin has been set up to probe into the case of alleged sexual misconduct. Seo on Thursday requested the special inquiry team to protect her from rumors regarding her performance and work discipline after revealing her experience. Meanwhile, Seo's revelation sparked a public uproar with thousands of Koreans protesting outside of the court and signing online petitions on the presidential office's website demanding an investigation into the matter. Cha Sang-mi, Arirang News.